Welcome! This is a Madeline with Spiritual Rebirth Tarot, and today I would like to talk about the um, heart chakra. And this is in this area, so it's starting to be easier to show where things are. I'm here in the, the heart. And as we can uh, feel that energy, uh, when, the, when the chakra is working properly, we notice that it is turning in a clockwise rotation and um, the energies. And you can actually hold like a pendulum over someone and you can see the uh, movement of the chakra. And if it's blocked, you won't see a lot of, or any movement. And if there's something kind of wonky, it might be going the other direction or not a circle or different things like that so anyway it's kind of interesting the energies that are really evident and present in the heart chakra so if we, we want to take a look at um the heart chakra and one of the color is green and so in the uh, meditation we spend time imagining the color green. We can listen to the meditative music for the color green and uh, kind of purify the color and have it engulf us and fill every cell of our body. And um, one of the things to uh, look at is the heart chakra is also anahota, so unhurt, unstuck, unbeaten symbolize awareness and manifestation of love towards oneself and others affection compassion acceptance gratitude and kindness it is about the heart of our feelings the heart chakra is about giving and receiving love so you know i think something that we often don't think about is giving and receiving we might be the type of person that gives a lot or we might be the kind of person that's taking a lot. And it was actually interesting. I heard one day, well, opposites attract, so I'm a giver and you're a taker. And, well, that's just not true. You know, we all are giving and we all are, we all are um, taking. And it's important for us to receive the blessings that uh, we really need to have in our lives. Just as much as uh, for how us to be giving um, blessings to others. So uh, when we look at the uh, chakra, it's associated with the spiritual heart center. As we tune into the pulse of life, uh, we will tune into the chakra. So it is the fourth chakra, it's in the middle of the chest, and it corresponds with the thymus, which would be kind of in this area, just below the thyroid. And uh, the ruler is Hunaman, Lord Rama's most loving devotee. And the color is green, and the element is air. And our animal totem is the deer or the antelope. And it's kind of interesting. I pulled the antelope today for a reading. And kind of like life is uh, speeding forward was the message that it gives. And our hearts kind of race. So the, the deer or the um, antelope um, are the, the animal totem of the, the heart. Um, as these animals run swiftly and change direction easily, loving emotions fluctuate through the heart chakra. Okay, so an unbalanced heart chakra would lead to emotional pain, a lack of compassion. So either emotional pain or a lack of compassion. Um, indecisiveness, over-dependency in relationships, uh, feeling disconnected from yourself, fear of rejection and abandonment, negative self-talk, and low self-esteem and harsh criticism. So really learning to love yourself and the world around you.
So the, the balanced heart chakra is going to lead to um, seeing the positive in yourself and in others, uh, feeling kind and compassionate, optimism, hope, motivation, cooperative, sharing, feeling loved and loving, feeling happy within yourself. So, um, so you can think about, you know, when you're having that a feeling of love so you know what I, I took it off but um typically I wear my uh, malachite bracelet and it the malachite is one of the best um stones for the heart chakra and is for helping and healing the heart chakra and the bracelet that I have is a Reiki charge so it has extra energy to help with the uh, heart chakra unblocking and cleansing so I love and accept myself fully. That's something that we can say. An affirmation, I am grateful. I am loved and loving. I feel compassion and empathy for all beings. I forgive myself and others. I let go of resentment and grudges. I love. And it's kind of interesting. Yesterday when I was going around cleaning the house, I didn't do so much cleaning today. Uh, but it's pretty cleaned up. But um, anyway, so when you when you go around and clean the house, everything I picked up and had to put somewhere, I thought, you know, thank you for you know the the dish, the cup, the the whatever the item was, you know, thank you for this item. You know, and I feel so blessed that you know the last four years I really struggled with my dental practice. It, there were so many ways about it that were very hard for me and didn't turn out right for me and really damaged my heart chakra in a lot of ways, a lot of uh, grief and pain from that. And yet at the same time, I feel so much gratitude that I had those uh, four years of, um, you know, just still being able to, you know, pay my bills and uh, keep things running, you know, maybe people um robbing peter to pay paul but in the end um to be able to have you know pretty much anything that i would that i would need at this time i mean my children are having to learn that you don't really need you know a drink from the kiva juice because you know it's 15 dollars and we've only got you know 15 dollars left for the week for food you know in other words i'm trying to help them learn about budgeting but at the same time, you know, every time you use money, you know, thank the money, thank the money when you give it away, thank the money when you receive it. And um, as you do that, as you give and you take and keep things flowing in your life, um, that flow will become greater and greater over time. So there are different uh mantras that can be said there's different i'm gonna i'll send out this uh um website again for you to take a look uh, the yoga sequence the meditation for the heart chakra she really uh does some great things here in this um yoga, yoga sequences it's really nice and um that's what uh, my friend uh, Yvette is going to be doing as well for us is yoga sequences related to each of the chakra and also the type of yoga that really deals with the energies. So it's going to be a really great uh, way of, you know, looking at helping to um, open the heart or to open whatever chakra we're looking at. So the fourth chakra, the heart chakra, you know, has to do with love, air, breath, balance, relationship, affinity, unity, healing. Um, the thymus, as we were talking about, um, the color green. You know, it's funny, my favorite color is green. And I looked at my stuff and this is the only green shirt I have. So what does it mean that when something is your favorite color but you don't own any of it? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, lavender and jasmine are the, uh, you know, the scents, the herbs, and I'm, I, excuse me, I think uh, probably most of us have some lavender and some jasmine um, available to us, at least lavender, fairly easily, so that's an easy one. Um, copper 
You know, it's kind of funny. Uh, somebody actually gave me some... Oh, the little feet for a piano that are made out of copper. It's like, I don't know. It was pretty cool to, to have a little bit of copper. Okay, so for eating, for diet, we eat lots of vegetables. And one really good thing to do is to make uh, celery juice. So if you take celery and you blend it, if you have a Vitamix, you can blend it in the Vitamix and really well with water. And then what I do is I have a, what I, what I call like a nut bag. So it's a, a mesh, a really, really, really fine mesh bag that I had bought to make um, almond nut milk in. So you blend up the almonds after they've sat for a long time and got a lot of water in them. So you let the almonds sit overnight and then you blend them really well and you put them in this bag and you create a nut milk. And the the leftover almond is in the in the bag. So instead, I'll put the uh, the pulp and the juice of the celery in there, and so I'll make myself some celery juice. So anyway, you can do that or not, but you can buy celery juice as well. It's just a lot cheaper to make it yourself. But anyway, if you have celery juice, that's one of the really great uh, green things, and it's actually great to drink every morning and some people they drink celery juice every morning um to help them lose weight but also they'll start getting off of coffee and other things like that as a result okay but definitely vegetables green vegetables green food and then you know you could have em emerald tourmaline and of course the best stone is uh, malachite for this and then things you know which are opening the heart chakra so you know, you can even just pull your shoulders back and expose your heart and say, you know, I am safe. I am okay. And um, we are safe. We are protected by our angels. And the angel, I think it's um, Raphael, isn't it? That is the uh, green healer. So uh, we can look to the uh, green angels this time as well and for our meditation and our healing. So um, I hope that this uh, helps with the uh, the chakra and uh, the uh, the um, the green that we're wearing right now, and we're working on our heart chakra. So um, take care. Uh, please subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel and come on over to uh, YouTube Spiritual Rebirth Tarot if you haven't been over there. There's a lot of uh, tarot readings, and then also I started a Patreon community, uh, patreon.com spiritual rebirth tarot. And so that um, is a community that'll have all the extendeds, it'll have a lot about like the uh, diseases of the different chakra. I've done uh, three videos so far on the uh, base chakra, and so then uh, the next three videos will be on the diseases with the sacral chakra. And we'll move on through that. And as a dentist, I have some familiarity with them. And then also I like to bring up the uh, metaphysical approaches that we can take. So there's so many things we can do for healing. And, you know, it's kind of interesting that the healing color and the heart color, you know, the same color. I think it's really uh, great to be having this uh, green. So this green with this blue doesn't really go together. Like I said, it's the only green shirt I've got. So... I'll have to bear with me. So, okay. So, uh, it's so great to see you guys again, and we'll talk to you soon.